Amen. Today is the first Wednesday of the month, and as usual, that is dedicated to Saint Joseph. And uh, just like our Lord in today's Gospel of the Octave Day of um, uh, Saints Peter and Paul, he calls Saint Peter over the waters to come to him. Saint Joseph is also a loving protector and father. His protection, his voice is calling us to love God, to be faithful to his commandments, and also assures us that whatever help we need in this world to be fervent followers of Jesus, his, St. Joseph's, protection will provide for us if we only ask for it. After the Mass, we say few prayers in honor of this uh, great man, this great protector, this foster father of Jesus Christ, Saint Joseph. And I hope many faithful always dedicate or um, say a few prayers in honor of this great uh, man, this great saint, this great protector on every first Wednesday of the month. He will protect all of us uh, greatly. And among the saints who have shown themselves especially devoted to Saint Joseph stands Saint Teresa of Avila especially. In her own autobiography she tells that when she was a young girl she suffered horribly from tuberculosis and that also she fell victim to a dreadful nervous disease which resulted in her becoming so crippled that she could not walk without someone assisting her. So in this painful state of sickness and not being able to walk, Saint Teresa had recourse to Saint Joseph. And this holy patriarch not only cured her, but also brought her back to the perfect use of her limbs. And from then that moment on, Saint Teresa never ceased to call Saint Joseph as her father and her protector. Later on, when she joined the Carmelites, she was inspired by God, uh, the Holy Ghost, to found a new religious order of reformed Carmelites. And she, Saint Teresa, was once making the journey with some of her sisters for the very purpose of founding this very first new convent of the Reformed Order in a small town in Spain. And before they started their trip, St. Teresa placed all her efforts and all her projects concerning this founding under the protection of St. Joseph. And she promised him that she would dedicate the new foundation to him if he would help her to bring it to a successful end. So they went on their way, and the coachman, as he was unacquainted of the roads of the region, he lost his way. And as he was heading his horses down another pass, uh, another path that passed for, for a road, the horses suddenly became frightened, and they started to gallop full speed ahead towards the high brink of a uh, the, the brink of a high cliff. Saint Teresa and her young companions, they noticed that something was horribly wrong and that the wagon was on its way down to the, from the cliff. She cried out, my daughters, we are lost unless Saint Joseph comes to our aid. So let us pray to him for help. And scarcely had they done so, when a powerful voice was heard, coming as it were from the direction of that cliff, shouting, stop, stop. And this voice was stern, but it also was so friendly and calming that the horses stopped and were immediately calmed down. And then uh, they turned in the direction uh, of the true path, towards the foundation where St. Teresa and her companions were on their uh, way. 
and in the uh, coachmen and the sisters, they looked for the kind man who had rendered them this great service and saved their lives, but they couldn't find the slightest trace of him. But St. Teresa told them, you seek in vain, my daughters, the one who saved us is none other than our own dear father, St. Joseph. So, dear faithful, remember this great protector of ours in all your needs, in all your sorrows, but also in your joys. If only more people in the world would call this dear St. Joseph of ours their protector and their helper, that would do enormous amount of good to them, to the whole world, and especially to the souls of the needy, the one which souls yearn, yearn after, whether they realize it or not, is God. Instead, they follow their own pleasings and their own desires, and they are on a certain path of destruction if they continue doing so. But loving God the Father, he never suffers or wants anyone to be lost. And if we have such a great Father and protector in heaven as is Saint Joseph, we should listen of his calming and quieting voice in the midst of all this sin and all the busy events of the world. If we call him, he calls us back and we can always and with a great certainty, calmness and happiness follow his voice. May God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.